My dear students, welcome to week six in our English language and literature for grade seven. This week is going to extend from the 11th of February till the 15th of February. We're going to start this week with an explicit, where you're going to collect, record, and verify data. Our word wall is going to include collect, record, verify, data, and research. You're going to watch a video that talks about research skills, and you're going to click on the picture of FIT Interactive Simulations, where you're going to collect, record, and verify data in groups. Then you're going to watch a video that explains how to verify data, okay, uh, data validation, uh, which means checking the accuracy and quality of source data, which uh, involves whether the data lies with a sensible range or not, and to ensure that the, that the data is correct and useful. You're going to create a poster on the data you collected in the previous activity. In the challenging question, you're going to write, what does the acronym OPVL stand for and why is it important? Then you will have an interactive activity related to that. You will revise everything you took through clicking a picture uh, on what to do tomorrow. For, lessons, for lesson two, we're going to start with Thank You, Ma'am, a uh, short story. You're going to read and annotate Thank You, Ma'am, short story. Our word wall is going to include short story, irony, permit, release, contact, and context clues. You're going to watch a video about Thank You Ma'am short story, and then you will have an interactive activity related to that. After that, you're going to watch a short film adapted from Thank You Ma'am story, and you will have another interactive activity related to that video. Of course, practice makes perfect. That's why we have further practice, uh, where you can practice more about the short story. For the challenging question, I would like you to analyze Mrs. Jones' character. How did she become the person she is? What uh, affected her personality? How did she become the woman she is uh, in the story? You will have a self-assessment related to that. And then for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to go back to the story and underline the dialogue in the story. Why is that important? Because we are going to change the story into a play script where you're going to act the story out. By the end of lessons three and four, you're going to change the story, thank you ma'am, to a play script. Now, I've dedicated two classes for this, uh, for this activity because one of them is going to be preparing your play script and the second one you're going to act it out. Our word wall is going to include convert, organizing, adaptation, conversation, play script, short story, draft, and review. You're going to watch a video about how to convert a story into a script. Then you will have an interactive activity related to that. Then you're going to watch another, for, uh, uh, another video about how to format a screenplay. You will have another, another interactive activity related to that, further practice, and for the challenging question, you're going to read an article and summarize how to write a play script, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to divide the roles among your group members to rehearse because you're going to act your play script in front of your class. For lesson five, you, lesson five is going to be the acting day. It's going to be the drama day where you're going to recognize the, the rubric and act the script out. Of course, you will find a rubric um, about drama and how you're going to be assessed on your uh, acting to take you. Just let me fix this in front of you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, our word wall is going to include drama, acting, role playing, rubric, play script, stage directions, and dialogue. You're going to watch a video about acting out play scripts. It's called Fallen Star, one act play script. Then you will have an interactive activity related to drama. 
and then you are going to watch a video about acting out play scripts. It's called Professional Actors Do It, Beginners Don't. You will have another interactive activity about the text and about drama. And then further practice. For the challenging question, I chose something really interesting. How did ancient Greek audiences show their appreciation for what they saw when they, want, when they went to the theater? I would like you to search that out and find out the answer. You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to reflect on your experience in acting. Write the challenges you faced and the areas of improvement. And of course, tell me what did you enjoy? I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.